say hello once again audience and welcome back to dominations with christopher and desmond can you wave say hi no you being shy yeah a little bit <laughs> you don't want to wave um i wanted to go over one of the looting runs that i did yesterday during a live stream because um, I had heard some feedback that it was pretty insane as far as loot. That complemented with a little bit of competition uh, as APOC put up a, some nice loot that he had a little bit earlier on. So I let him know that I was going to put this up. Um, uh, oh, oh, just wait. You need to see your finger. Desmond's going to show us. There we go. Connected. Okay, and this is quite often how I do my raids. If I'm if I'm raiding during the day, sometimes this is how it's done. This one. As you can tell, he's very well versed. He understands. Here we go. Yep. Yeah. Don't you? <laughs> okay. He's like enough of that, Dad. Now let's go ahead. Of course, I was attacked. So this is one of the best ones that I've had um, right up here. So let's walk through. Uh, how many troop spaces do I have available? I've got 65 troop spaces available. So that's what this is based around. Oh, I have just been going for metals. Um, however, last night I saw this guy and I was like, yeah, we got to do that. So I'm a classical age XB 36 on this account. And we went ahead and we found DGX. Yeah, let's just, let's watch. Ah, there we go. Let's watch. Yeah. You got to tell the people what's going on. Okay. So you can see why I picked to go after this guy. Um, he's got a substantial amount of loot and hasn't done really anything with his walls. Um, so as a result, oh, see, this doesn't, it doesn't work like that. I went in with my heavies, uh, followed by my archers and my little fusiliers, my little foot soldiers. I did waste a rally there and a sabotage in order to actually get my troops on the ground. But I was okay with that because it, does, it did get rid of one of those mortars or catapults and ballista towers. So I'm happy about that. Hi, that's right. Hi. So we're just trying to keep the troops together. Uh, as you can see, I've already got some food. So I've got 143,750 food. Uh, I'm just fighting my way to actually get towards some of that gold. And that is the goal here. I want the gold. <laughs> What do you think? So you can see that the fusiliers, they're good at chewing through buildings and being British, I do appreciate the range on those archers. Uh, trying to keep them all together again, trying to get some of that loot. And that's where it starts. So the reason I like fusiliers is because they are non-specific and they do chew through buildings quite quickly. You can't be doing that just yet. So there we go. There's 165 so far. And I don't even think I got all the way through. Uh, I think I got one star, 50 some percent. Uh, and I'm pretty sure my last force target is actually going to be on that gentleman's market. And there it is. And I think we end up with a couple more thousand, maybe. Yeah, so a few more thousand there. So there we go. There's 232,645 gold uh, and 143,921 food. Uh, we also got, we, <laughs> we got a little rabbit. We got a little rabbit fur. Yeah, we got a little rabbit fur and we got some cider. So maybe we'll head back and make some beer and uh, a rabbit foot, a lucky rabbit's foot. That guy was level one six or level sixty nine rather. 
<laughs> so I'm not really shocked that I didn't make it all the way through his base, but even doing as well as I did, I thought was all right. Um, so there you have it. Yeah. That's the best that I've done. Uh, maybe I'll actually have a more refined attack a little bit later on that we can share with you guys. Come up here. Can you say, uh, like? Don't forget to like and subscribe. And keep your sticks on the ice. And have a good time.